Welcome back, everyone. This is the Bart's and Fundaria playthrough, Dragon Force 2. We're embarking upon part three on our way to siege Rosarto Castle. Had to think about it for a second, couldn't remember the name of it. And we're taking on Valshina's division. This is an independent castle, but not for too much longer. So, we went over the gimmick last episode. Right now, my terrific twosome is going to be Stefano and Bartz. I'm going to try to let them take on as many of these generals as possible. I'll save Bartz for Valshina and possibly one other. How about Matteo? Yeah, let's see if he can take out Matteo and then finish up with Valshina. Stefano, I will have take on either Laura or Oscar and then... I don't know, maybe let Kanshin get some experience. I don't want to spread my people too thin. Let's see how it goes. I actually attempted to record this earlier today, but I encountered an interesting glitch that I've never seen before in this game, ever. Emulator, Saturn hardware, across multiple playthroughs, never encountered this at all. Basically, what happened was... For both me and the opponent, our troop count would always stop at one. Even when we had zero troops left, the timer, or not the timer, the the counter up there under our health bars would show one. So what this basically means is that it would always go to a draw. It could not go to a duel, and basically we couldn't win the fights because in this game draws don't equal out a loss. So yeah, that was probably the worst possible glitch that could have happened outside of Bart's just spontaneously combusting on the spot. Have no idea what caused it. Hoping that we can avoid it this time. Again, I've never seen it before. I have no clue, no idea. But I was feeling really, 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 really drained and wiped out because, you know, all that recording just down the drain. I guess I could have just left it in and picked up from that point, but, you know, I'm trying not to shortchange you guys, you know? So. So, yeah, I hope everything goes okay here. I'm really not looking to do this again. I really don't have the time to tackle it again if I wanted to. I have everything scheduled to a T, even playing these games for YouTube, so, you know. Unfortunately, free time is a thing that I no longer have. And I think that's most of us nowadays. Even your free time is taken up. Okay, he's a zero, so I think it's over with. I think we're safe. So, the game can continue. Thank goodness. And Mateo is going to get his teeth knocked in by these arrows. So if you don't mind, I'm going to take a back seat. Do a little less talking in this video. Let you enjoy the game's wonderful soundtrack and superb voice work. I'm on the verge of losing my voice and I don't want that to happen. So I will be taking a break here and there. You're not going to run away? Really? There you go. <laughs> no, it's not. Arrows upside the face genuinely doesn't lead to a victory. Sorry. Hate to be the one to break that bubble. All right, Laura. Welcome to the new team that you want to be on. To welcome you will be Stefano. Why not? Now, she has monks as well as him. So what I'm going to do is send his troops forward. Use Salamander to weaken her people. And we'll go from there, shall we? Now, would you guys hold it against me if I sped through these fights a little bit? You wouldn't hold it against me, would you? Because I'm kind of getting that itch. And since I'm not going to be saying much anyway, may I?
Valshina has been captured. Excellent. What a fantastic turn of events that was. So yeah, I was able to get by with just Bart and Stefano. So you can expect some level ups out of that. Yes. Two for Stefano. Learned Aura Bomb that fast. And who's getting away? Matteo? Oh, you know what? I bet he's going to join up with that castle. That's kind of annoying. If they're an independent nation, if they flee to another castle that's gray, that is independent, they'll join them straight away. No fight, no fuss. So that just makes more work for us. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to just let them go. Yeah, because it'll just be three of them. The only one who's even worthwhile is Ropategi. I don't care about Garcia. Don't care about Mateo. I will come over here to take a cell because he is... He's a beastman, actually. And so is Ropategi, so... Yeah. Garcia's a beastman, too, but I don't like him, so I'm still not using him. I will use the other two, though. Kozue, as far as I can tell, is human, so... Sorry, Kozue, but you know what? You got so much play out of my last walkthrough with Gongos. Uh-oh, it happened. I called him Gongos. It, you know, I'm so mad that they couldn't give him a more original name. You know, but yeah. She saw plenty of screen time in that playthrough, so she can sit this one out a little bit. We're going to wait for Domestic, actually. And how you doing up here? Maki, Ricardo, got each other, so shouldn't be lonely. They're just going to be up there for the time being. As badly as I want to go down and travel to Spumante, we're not going to because, again, we're just going to pursue the main story and not going to mess with them right now. Not going to mess with them at all, actually, because I'm going to be pretty underleveled for quite a while. もしばらく先のことになりそうなりそうだでそうですがなら話はほうぜひ私を全軍の将としていただきたいですが。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
For now, we will want to use her. There's really nothing else we can do right now. I will save my game. It's always a good idea. Never know when the next glitch is going to take you by surprise, so... Alright, so... We'll forget about them down here for the time being. We're going to head up to Topaz. Because that's what we really wanted to deal with anyway. Get them some people and deploy. Bart, Stefano, Laura, and two backups. Giovanni and Valshina for sure. New Viceroy will be Enzo. And how far can we go? We can go all the way up. Oh, you know what? I know where you're going. I know exactly where you're going. Since him as well. No. Because we're going to need some backup for sure. And just leave this castle all together. Now how about this music? Only two, really? Oh. Yep, this is the main event right here. So who's going to make it there first? It's going to be close. Uh, no, they're going to make it there first. Life on the edge. This is when good strong tactics come to play, so let's play very carefully and very cautiously. Kuragane looks like a she. Granted, a very ugly beat up she, but it's actually a he. So the, well, let me just stop there. Let me just, let me just stop there. <laughs> let me not say what I was about to say. Uh, Kuragane, who? Who shall we use? Anybody strong against horsebacks? Mages. Uh, let's see. Oh no. Bad troop types there. Bad troop types all around. Okay, it's you by default. But you do have healing, so... I think we're gonna use that and cheese it out. Chester style. Kiss kiss save. Concave, increase the defense, that's a good idea. Oh, if only monks were strong against horseback like they were in Dragon Force 1, we'd be sitting pretty right now. But alas, such is not so. Yep, all you have is healing, so we'll wait. Buying our time. Is what we're doing. And taking it slow. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Okay, could have fooled me. You guys did pretty decent there. Oh, you got archers. Knight is tanking some hits, or he was. Okay, so slow trickle coming this way. That's fine. Do your worst. We can prepare. Almost in position. Oh, let's see if these archers are all know they're gonna attack. Our mages are in trouble. But if one of them can survive and focus on Kuragane for all seven seconds, that is worth. Okay. It's going to be a slow process, but I think we can make this work. 
unfortunately it's going to skip around now so I have to keep track of where everybody's at in terms of troops and health and magic so gather around though let's see Jan 20 soldiers you should be pretty easy pickings for just about anybody here Laura 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 this might be your best opportunity for a while I'm gonna have to be very careful with Laura because she's honestly just not that good the first time I played this game for some reason I really liked her design I liked her character I gave her a fair shot and like Marcus the first time she just continually disappointed me always lost in duels not very impressive spell set at least in the early stages hopefully she gets something better at level 10 or 15 but I couldn't work up high enough to find out so hopefully this will be the playthrough where we turn the tides for her it'll have to be because again she's half elf so half dark elf to be precise if there is a difference so we're gonna have to make this work gonna have to play very very strategically with her that having been said let's attack with them actually let's not let's do this I want to like you Laura really I want to like you please come through okay they can move forward and attack See, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> what do you say to that? Better next time. Hopefully. I like how the troops kind of ring around the rosy of the enemy general sometimes before they start landing blows. It's like they're kind of sizing them up, you know? Like a wild pack animal. psychological it's all psychological mental warfare playing with their mind oh oops uh yeah uh ha no and see this is why it's so difficult to deal with laura because i really don't think she would have won that duel yeah and i don't want to take the chance of her dying but instead she's gonna get captured that's fine that's actually preferable to her dying because we can always capture her back Keep that in mind. Okay. It's too early to bring out Stefano and Bartz. You know, maybe I'll just use Valsina to weaken everybody up. Because she has healing. She can tank some hits. Let's see if this will work out. I'm probably going to speed up the next few fights because this is going to be a marathon. So, move along. Nothing to see here. That was a fight right there. That was a fight right there. Thankfully, Stefano didn't disappoint. All right, let's back to the boost.
just have Elan left to deal with. Fortunately, he is half elf, so he qualifies for the conditions to be on my team. Thankfully, so we want to recruit him and we'll just send Bart's out. I think he can handle this. I do have to be careful though. He is a lot stronger than he looks, to say the least. You know, I'm kind of debating how I want to go about this. I was thinking that, you know, in the early stages, I would just use whoever I could since uh, it's slim pickings. But when I had, you know, castles and castles of people to choose from at that point, I could stick to just all non-humans. Now I'm kind of thinking, you know, being such a glutton for punishment, I might go ahead and just, you know, enact that now not use any human characters even from the jump so yeah we'll see if I stick to that because that's gonna make things extremely difficult but yeah I think we'll be okay uh see I want to do that give them a little breathing room yeah we'll do that would expect soldiers to do pretty good against bandits, but, you know, not always the case. Everybody attack Alon, forget his people. Ideally, this would just go to a duel and I could finish him that way. Because he's an important general, so he's not gonna die no matter what. So we can take off the kid gloves. And what are you doing? I'm about to say, don't you just perch up top in the middle of nowhere? Doing nothing for anybody. And where are your friends? You're not the only one. Okay, they're just kind of... They're kind of just dancing around the battlefield. Not really concerned with them. They can do what they want to do. It's kind of hard to tell our archers from his because of our, our nation's colors. You know, theirs have a bit more gold in them, I think, but it really doesn't pop. It doesn't stand out. All right, so we got a draw, no surprise. at 40 minutes right now but I haven't edited out for the fights yet so hopefully I can get this down to around 30 minutes I really didn't want to have any episodes over 30 minutes this time around but yeah don't think that's gonna happen yes we shall Everybody move. Seventeen versus nine. I like those odds. I like those numbers. Yeah, yeah, that's more of that. Focus on him. Hey, camera. There you go. So, yeah, don't mind me. Just preserving my voice here. In the long last few days, a lot going on. A little exhausted. A little weary. I don't want to miss my opportunity to use you know what. Because I think I'm going to get it this time. And just because I can, I'm going to rub it in his face. I'm going to wait till the last possible moment to do this. Ah, ah in your face. Yosh. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, I listened to the voice acting. 
may pronounce it Fondaria. I'm wondering if Fandaria is actually supposed to be pronounced Fondaria. So, hmm. Maybe I'll buck the system and go against the grain and just start calling it Fondaria. Yeah, Fondaria. Sounds more festive. Yeah, we'll go with that. Bart's level increase, which we expect is Stefano. Probably gonna get a couple, yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. You, 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 you. You come back here. And Castle, who's left there? Them? You know what? That's fine. We will deal with them in due time. We don't want to press our luck. We want to redirect our people back to Bilra. Get some energy back. You guys can have that castle because besides you, it's probably just Shin's hometown, yep. Three people. Yep. The next episode, we should be able to finish up Topaz, no problem, I'm thinking. And we got back before Domestic. Perfect. Wow, and all our troops went to Bart's. But if they gotta go to someone, why not him? And really quickly, Rosa, just don't let me get bored. You got it. Oh, she's not human at all, so we can use Rosa. There you go. But Lisa, give us a helping hand. Beat it, kid. That's your final answer, huh? Just gave us the finger there. But we don't need her because she's human. And we have no interest in human women. So weekly report, two battles, POWs. Got a few, but they can wait. We gotta save, call it a day because this is getting kinda long. And this has been part three of Dragon Force 2, the Fonderia campaign using Bart's. Thanks for watching. Please take care and hope to see you soon.